welcome to another week of energy readings. Um, we're lo doing, we're looking at the energy of the week ahead, and then do the star signs. And we're looking at the week of November the sixth to November the twelfth. And um, on November the fourth, which is the Saturday, uh, or was the Saturday before this week, um, we had a full moon, and it is a full moon in Taurus. So um, that means that uh, all of us this week have a much higher psychic ability. So, um, and we'll see if it will be reflected in the week ahead. But before we look at the star signs, we'll look at the overall energy for the week ahead. And I'm drawn to this deck, see where this is going. And now we have a look. I have a slight cuff, <coughs> but not too bad. So this week, for all of us, it's important to realize that, that we are all complete just the way we are. So it's important to not give in to feeling incomplete, feeling lost somehow. Um, so this is a week where we will always uh, feel um, more, well, probably happier within ourselves. And it's also a week where we should all pay attention to our dreams. I just mentioned that the... Um, psychic ability is heightened and so you will get more from your dreams this week than probably ever before so to speak so pay attention to your dreams because in dreams there are patterns and when once you realize oh there is something repetitious here you will get messages if that makes sense so that's just for the overall week so nothing to worry about for the overall week and now we're starting with the star sign of scorpio our first star sign of the week and i'm drawn this deck and then we'll see where we're going Scorpio is quite cool this week you have the Canada goose and the sparrow hawk and what that really means is that um, this week um, you can be steadfast you can be patient you don't have to rush anything not at all and the hawk uses the upthrust of the air to glide so what they're saying to you this week is quite important in the sense that the message is this. Be, you don't have to be patient with people as such, but um, remember, you know, you, you, you are quite a patient person this week. So um, be, be, be calm. Things will come to you. And then just when they come to you, don't overreact. Don't panic. Just look at things for the, the way they are. And then... Um, make decisions based on what, what, you, what you perceive this week. So it's not nothing too strenuous this week. So that's all good. That was Scorpio going into Sagittarius. Let's just see what we got. It's actually quite similar, Sagittarius to Scorpio in many ways, because you have the mouse and the chipmunk. And that means that this week, um, you will not feel light to and if someone is deceiving you you're going to spot it a mile away so this week you see things exactly precisely the way they, the way you are and you will find it quite difficult uh, so you will find it quite easy this week not difficult as well you will find it quite easy this week to look through people and through situations um, and that, well, that's what i meant earlier when i mentioned that the psychic ability that we all possess is heightened so, so this week it will be very difficult for people and situations to um, lie to you, uh, deceive you, make you feel something's a bit off because you will just look through it straight away. So nothing to worry about for Sagittarius. Going into Capricorn and I'm drawn to a different deck. Oops, cards fall out, so they want to be read. Interesting. You have the dancer of promise, the shaman of reflection, and the hunter of abundance. In combination, what that really means is um, the dancer of promise is, is, in essence, it means that there's a new beginning for you. And the dancer means that you're not quite sure where this is going. And uh, as always, you can't control it. it's a new beginning, so how can you possibly know uh, the outcome of anything? What they're asking you to do is to be light-hearted about new beginnings and let things happen. You have the shaman of reflection. 
And that means that um, the new beginning that you have will allow you to step back from what you are used to. And you just should reflect how you feel in the new that is coming to you this week. You have the hunter of abundance, so you're actually looking for change. And the change will come. And abundance means that the change that, you have, that is happening this week is actually a positive change and a good change. So allow for new beginnings to find you and to happen to you. And don't worry about the thing because according to the, to the, to the energy here, um, it's going to be a great new beginning. And um, an abundance that doesn't, doesn't necessarily mean financial wealth. It just means that um, it will bring you things that nurture you and that take you to new places that you probably haven't heard or, or haven't experienced before. Right? So that was Capricorn. So we had Scorpio, Sagittarius and Capricorn going into a, Aquarius now. I'm going to throw into this deck again. So far, it seems to be a great week for all of us. <coughs> that we had so far because you have the caribou and the river otter and the caribou is an animal and I say that every week when the caribou shows up it is an animal that is quite heavy but doesn't sink in so so nothing is going to happen to you this week the caribou is also an animal with antlers so you're quite protected and you have the river otter uh, otters are holding hands um, so they don't lose each other in the dark or in the water and what it really means is that this week is not a week to go things alone um, try not to be or feel too isolated this week. Um, if you feel very alone, reach out to people. You could even reach out to um, uh, social media contacts like Facebook. There's always someone with an, with an open ear. There's great groups out there that you can join where you can just, um, you know, from the safety of your computer, uh, say how you feel and you will probably uh, very likely um, uh, meet and, 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 and get support from there. It's just one scenario. But the point is that you're not alone this week. Um, so there's not much that's going to happen to you where, where you will be fell, where, where, where you will be made uh, feel alone or something. So it's actually going to be um, quite an easy week for um, Aquarius too. So that's all good. So as you can see, there's, there's a slight pattern already emerging, and that and the pattern is that that we're all um, nurtured this week and all supported this week by the universe at large, which is a nice thing. And now we're going to Pisces, my favorite star sign because I am a Pisces. So and that's also the only one I actually remember because I only work here, so to speak. So I oftentimes forget um, what the guides are saying and I, and I oftentimes just remember my own stuff, which is fair enough. Right. For Pisces, for us Pisces, it's quite interesting. We have the spirit of family and the dancer of lies. So there will be things happening for, for a lot of us this week where there will be family history come up or things from, from the family. And, and what I mean by this, I don't mean your tribe. I don't mean people that you uh, consider as family. I mean flesh and blood. So there will probably be um, things coming to the fore um, that um, you didn't know about or that felt... Um, or, or you have heard the stories differently. So there's lots of truths to be found in, in family uh, history this week. Um, so maybe it's good to have a conversation with someone from your family and, 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 and literally ask them about, you know, remember this and this and this, what really happened there. So it's good to look for answers this week in family matters. And what I'm getting energetically is, is really old stories. There's nothing about um, new stuff. This is all about... Um, Maybe even things that you that you thought was just lore, you know, uh, folklore, family lore. It's a good way of uh, finding out stuff this week, and maybe it's a good way uh, or a good idea to actually look into your family history and try to figure out stuff um, that you only peripherally looked at. If that makes sense, right? But uh, other than that, other than this um, family thing, again, there's nothing to worry about. Moving into Aries now. Let's see what we got for the Aries. Oh, actually quite nice. So, you have the spirit of healing, healing and the hunter of strengths. So you're moving into healing, self-healing, 
and you will gain a lot of strength this week. So this is a week to let stuff go that you have carried around for a long, long time. Really important to just open up, let it all, let it all go. Very likely there will be um, tears, as I say every week, tears are sacred medicine. So it's quite uh, powerful for the Aries this week to, to realize that you, are, that you are moving into your own healing and that you will get stronger um, from here on in. So that's quite nice. And now we're moving into Taurus. Actually quite interested about Taurus this week because we have the, 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 the full moon in Taurus, um, which is also uh, known as the romantic moon. And like I said, the, the, the psychic ability um, will be in there. So there's a lot of softness. And what we oftentimes have with the Taurus, there seems to be this um, two beings in the Taurus where they can be really harsh to themselves. So let's just see what we got for the Tauruses. Yeah, so this is a week for Taurus people to actually forgive yourself. You have the kid fox and the buffalo, and the kid fox is a fox. Fox is very clever, but the kid fox lives in the desert, so, so we can't really expand much. So it's important for you to not hide uh, this week and also to just reach out. Um, the buffalo is another animal that, that, that sort of keeps the territory safe and, and, and clean. So this is a week for, for Tauruses to allow yourself um to go out in the world and be a bit more trusting i think that's the main message here you can trust this week it's really important be a bit more trusting allow yourself uh, to open up um, even to people that you probably don't know that well especially to people probably that you don't know that well this week is, is a good idea and and what the kid fox basically represents is that you will not necessarily feel safer just because you're, you're partly hiding, if that makes sense. So, so trust this week, it's all going to be good. Right? So there was the Tauruses going into Gemini and I'm drawn to a completely different deck. Gemini, Gemini. There's no song for Gemini, there's only a song for this is the age of Aquarius. It's quite funny, we have, we have 12 star signs and, not, and only one song for a star sign. Time to, time to write a song probably for you musicians out there. Right? So going to Gemini, you have the peacock and, 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 and the dog, and that's all about keeping people at bay and, um, and, and self-loyalty. So what that really means is that, that you are, this week, you, you appear to be quite guarded this week. Um, and because the dog uh, speaks about loyalty and, and about protection, you really don't need to be guarded. And what that means is the peacock has this beautiful wheel uh, with these beautiful eyes and uh, people like him before, uh, because of it. Um, but really what he is doing when he, when he puts the, the, the wheel up is to, uh, he's trying to actually um, surprise predators by having thousand eyes. So it seems like, oh, there's a full army of them, <laughs> if that makes sense. So, so at times you, you probably smile at things um, that you shouldn't smile at, where you kind of should go, it's not right. Um, so this week is important to, to, to not smile at situations just to, um, or pretend you're happy when you're not. Um, and the dog means is, uh, if, that, if that makes sense, you know, loyalty starts, starts with yourself. So speak your truth this week and entrust your decisions this week. And that's really all you need to do. That was Gemini going to the Cancerius. Cancer. Which is the, 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 this week's video ladies the star sign. <laughs> cancer, cancer. Are you excited? Want to know what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Let's have a look. That's interesting because I mentioned earlier that the, the psychic perception this week is quite strong. And you have the ancestor of knowing and the dancer of life. And what it really means is this week it will be confirmed to many Cancerians that you are, in, it sounds a bit weird, but that you are uh, a medium as such and that you pick up on stuff. So this week expect to be visited by, by spirit, feel and see spirit around you. Um, and the dancer of life means that this has been inside you forever. And it's time probably to actually acknowledge this and then do something with it. So this is just a week where, where, where all this opens up to you much more, much more, much more profound, probably much deeper. Um, and it's important that you trust it this week. Right? That you're, not, you're not weird just because you're picking up on stuff. 
and um, and that's that's basically the, the main message this week is to trust the messages that you hear and that you get and even when you feel that the messages for you trust it that's the most important thing and that's all we have for the Cancerians going into Leo using this deck It's interesting because I just just talked about Leo and I get this image from the Wizard of Oz, you know, if I only had a heart, if I only had a brain. So uh, <laughs> about courage and stuff, it's quite interesting. What is interesting about about um, this week for Leo is that um, this week it's important to realize that sometimes people misunderstand you, but they never question your integrity or your intelligence about the topic. They just sometimes don't quite get you. But you have the turkey, which is this part of being misunderstood, but, but, but being clever. And you have the hummingbird. And the hummingbird is one of, the, one of these birds that can work every tree, no matter how crooked it is. So what they're saying to you is, even though people, um, or you feel at times misunderstood, nobody trusts your abilities. Sorry, nobody, nobody um, mistrusts your abilities. Everybody knows that, 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 that um, you, can, you can deliver what they expect from you. You, you, you deliver on your promises, for instance. You keep your word. You are uh, an honest soul. And just because people at times uh, make you feel as if they are questioning it, they never, they never really question that you, that, you, that you can't do what you're saying you can do. Right? Uh, and I think it's important to realize that this week, that just because you may have people around you who, are, who, who seem to be not so sure about you, um, in the end, they all trust you because you are an honest soul. And that's also the main message is trust and, and remember that you are an honest soul and that you, um, you know, you, 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 um, you, keep your, you keep your word. And when you are a person that keeps your word, you, have, you are entitled to have, um, to have that feeling of, yeah, I'm good. Doing, doing right, and I'm a, I'm a good person, and therefore you can have that feeling of, um, of uh, what's the word, uh, confidence. You know, so so live your confidence, show your confidence this week because you earned it, right? So that was Leo going into Virgo. Second last star sign of the week. Right. If you are burdened by something um, physically or, or emotionally that feels to you like you know, like an ailment or an illness or 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 not being well, um, this week is a week where where uh, to a large extent this will be all, all getting much easier, uh, because you have the medicine wheel, which means you're moving inside your 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 um, discomfort. So it gets easier, and you have the snake, which is the animal of protection, and also the animal of, of shedding your skin. So things that are, that are heavy for you, um, emotionally or, or even physically, uh, this week, um, you get a break. It's going to be much easier. But that also means that this week, it's important for you to just let stuff go. Don't be defined, or don't define yourself by, let's just say, restlessness or, or chronic pain or something. Right? Um, you will take it in your, in, your, in your stride this week and just trust it's not, you're not your illnesses, you're not your, your difficulties. Underneath it all is a full person. And um, this week it's important to live that. Right? So that's that. Going into um, Libra, last star sign of the week. And like I said, we're looking at the week of November the 6th to November the 12th. And now let's see what we got. Right. We have the scut up and the parrot. And what it really means is that you need to realize, or ought to realize this week, how important you are. You are an integral part of the people you live with, of, the, of, of where you work. It's quite important to, to lift that this week. There is loads of stuff that is not happening when you're not around. And it's time that you realize that you have value. So that's the main message, that you have value. And also, the message with the parrot is, is that they're, they're quite intelligent. They're very intelligent animals and they, they outlive along of other animals, so to speak. So um, 
in, 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 in short, uh, you are important and your advice is sound and you always speak eloquently. So um, therefore, you, you, you can command respect and, um, and people feel that they can trust you because they can trust you. You are trustworthy. And it's just important for you this week to, to lift that strength and say like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm that person that you can trust and therefore I want to be treated and deserve to be treated with respect. So this is all the week um, for you where, you where you claim your respect because you've earned it. Right? And that's all we have time for. See you all in one week. Bye-bye.